Hello Columbia, welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view of the City of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Utsi. In our top story, Mayor Daniel Rickerman, Mayor Pro Tem, Ed McDowell, along with community leaders in the Booker Washington Heights community, recently held a ribbon cutting ceremony, along with staff from Parks and Recreation at the Catherine Belfield Cultural Arts Center. The ribbon cutting was held for a new community resource center that is now open and will benefit small business owners and nonprofit organizations who need access to office space and other free resources. For me, this center, when we had an opportunity to take a library that had been flooded out and turn it into something that really could be an asset to this community, it was a no-brainer. Let's figure out how do we do it, how do we leverage those resources, because the best ideas, the best businesses, the best community movements are born in a place like this. This community represents a holistic approach to what's taking place in the city of Columbia. This resource center provides an entrepreneurial endeavors to come into this place and to be filled with an entrepreneurial spirit. It's summer, so it's also time for National Night Out. There was also a National Night Out kickoff held prior to the National Night Out activities in our neighborhoods. During the kickoff event, Councilwoman Audrey Bustles spoke on behalf of Columbia City Council. And I look forward to working with you all over the next several months as we continue to address these causes. And so I would um, like to take a moment to just give a round of applause to the Columbia Police Department for all of their incredible work. Um, and how they the National Night Out kickoff event, Mayor Daniel Rickerman, along with city council members, visited several neighborhoods across the city. These neighborhoods were also sponsoring activities in order for residents to connect with law enforcement officials, city staff, as well as other neighbors in their community. It's also the time of year for back to school activities. Mayor Pro Tim and McDowell recently hold a Stuff a Bus community event in order to benefit children in our community. It was a friendly competition between him and Richland County Councilman Derek Pugh. The competition was to stuff a bus full of school supplies and all supplies would then be donated to children in our community. In another great back to school event, a back to school bash was hosted by Coach Dawn Staley, along with the Inner Soul Foundation and Absolute Total Care. We, we get into the community because we love you. What, what Inner Soul represents here today, though, is an, an opportunity. Like when I grew up, I grew up in the projects in North Philly, and I knew exactly what a new pair of shoes did for me and my psyche and my confidence and my ability to go to school and look like everybody else. I didn't care what I looked like from my ankles up. As long as I had a nice pair of sneakers on, I, I knew I was it. Mayor Daniel Rickerman, along with city council members and other officials, recently welcomed four new businesses that opened in the city of Columbia. It's, it's a wonderful day for another small business opening, but I want to take a minute, look around at all the other Five Points merchants out here to support another wonderful small business. Give yourself a hand. The city, we want to help small businesses grow and prosper and really make that vision come true. I absolutely love that Brooke had this concept. She brought it to life. And here we are with a space that women and I'm assuming men, because Paul gets facials too, I'm sure, um, can come and enjoy all of the great services and the ambiance with their loved ones and, and friends. There's some incredible foods in our community we need to make sure we highlight in there on some daily specials, but to have this here in our museum 
and in the city of Columbia and obviously the state capital in South Carolina is a great honor. And, I, and coming in today, all I could smell was this great food behind us. To me, the opening of Cow is more than just another restaurant on Main Street. It symbolizes a lot of different things, starting with the next generation becoming our business owners and planting their roots here in Columbia. It signifies that we are a bustling, growing city that has a lot to offer as we continue to actually run out of space, according to Matt, in terms of potential new businesses on Main Street, which is a good problem. And most importantly, I think that it symbolizes what Columbia is all about. And other major breaking news about the city of Columbia and a major project, the return of the cupola to the Babcock building. Following a tragic fire, the cupola was destroyed. It was recently replaced and before the replacement activities, there was a cupola signing ceremony that was held where Mayor Daniel Rickerman, along with city council members and other local officials joined to welcome back the esteemed topping to the building. We're celebrating the, the cupola today. There's two recognizable domes in our city. That's the State House and the cupola. And when that fire happened in 2020, I think everybody was really, it sunk in their heart because they saw an opportunity. They saw something change. And fire department, thank you guys for what you do. Thank you for, you have no idea what you did by saving this what it does for our community and it bolters, bolts investment in our community. And in other news, which celebrates a championship, we congratulate Benedict College on their recent championship win. Benedict College officials asked that city officials join them for the unveiling of the championship sign. Mayor Daniel Rickerman and Mayor Pro Tem Ed McDowell were present to represent the city of Columbia. This is the first of four signs being erected uh, for this, so very excited about that. But what I think is so important about all this is, and I think Dr. Artis hit on it too, is, is that Coach Perry, you, you, you've raised the bar. And for 11 games, we are the champions. We are the champions athletically, academically, and we are proud of that whole notion. You may be seeing something new on the streets of Columbia. It's called the Barnacle, which is a new device that is now being used by the city's parking services staff. They tell you more about the Barnacle and how it works and how it will be used. The Barnacle, uh, we felt that it is a better fit on our high traffic areas, such as our Main Street District and our Five Points area. Um, in order to be barnacled, as we, we normally say, you have to have at least $100 worth of citations, and those citations have to be over 30 days old. The barnacle fees include your outstanding balance on your tickets issued. There's a $35 park mental fee, also a $35 mobilization fee, as well as a $250 hold, which go on your credit card until the barnacle is returned. If you do happen to get barnacled for not paying your fines, they're easy to return. We have three locations, a drop box in Five Points, one at our office at 820 Washington Street, and one at our PJ Cannon garage. The best thing to know about the Barnacle is that if you pay your fines and your tickets, you'll never have to experience one. So please pay your parking tickets promptly, and you'll never have to experience a Barnacle of your own. Thank you for watching City View, where we give you a close-up view of the city of Columbia. If you would like any information regarding any of this information that we shared on this program, please contact the Public Relations, Media, and Marketing Department with the City of Columbia. You may call us at 545-3020, email us at pio at columbiasc.gov, and you can follow us on our social media platforms and check out our website, columbiasc.gov. Please stay tuned to City TV and also watch us on Roku and Amazon Fire TV. Again, thank you for watching City View, and remember, we are Columbia.